Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. My name is Nakia. If this is your first time tuning into my channel, I would like to say welcome. And if this is not your first time tuning into my channel, I would like to say hello and hi, Apple Gang. <laughs> All right, guys, today's video is going to be short and sweet. Um, I do have an announcement, first of all, but because that will actually start the video and actually I can present it to you. So with today's video, I am no longer an agency nurse. I am a staff nurse, guys. So today I will begin my adventure again with this company that I've worked with since 2008. No, I'm sorry, 2016. So I've been with this company off and on for about seven years. And it's a great company. I will not display the name, but um, it's an awesome company to work with. Now, also in this video, I want to display the pros and the cons of working through an agency versus being a staff nurse. So I didn't write a lot on my handy dandy notebook, but I will begin with the cons first. One of the main cons of going back to staff from working with agency is, of course, the pay. You know, I was making a pretty nice, sub substantial amount of money working with this agency, and I'm really going to miss it. So fr Friday will be my very last check with this particular agency. So it's been a, a great... What is it? I started in April with them and here it is November. So four to 11. So, so a good seven months with them. I have really enjoyed the income. So that is one of the biggest cons of working, of switching from an agency over to staff is, is of course, the pay. So um, my next con would be, of course, the benefits. You know, some companies you can get benefits through an agency, which the company that I was working with, I could have, but it was so expensive. And so it really wasn't worth me getting it. And then plus, you know, when I first started out with the agency, you know, I wasn't on my husband's insurance. So, you know, we had talked about, you know, don't get it, just wait and I can put you guys on mine. So that's what he did. So, um, benefits, you know, there aren't any unless you sign up for it. Again, you know, it's going to come out of your pocket. So with the benefits, you know, there are no sick time. There is no vacation time. You know, anything can happen. So you have to call out at a reasonable amount of time so that they can get clearance to, you know, get someone in to cover your shift. If you work in a hospital, unlike me, I work in an outpatient clinic. So if I were to call out, Wherever I'm working, whether it's in the shot room or if it's on the floor, you know, you know, rooming patients and, you know, doing the intake and all that, um, they would have to juggle people around to fit my spot. So, guys, it's a huge ordeal when you call out. So, again, no sick time, no vacation time, um, and then the benefits. Um... I think those are all of the cons. I really didn't have that many. Now pros, I really don't have that many pros either, but the pros of working staff rather agency um, in an outpatient clinic, you're gonna love the hours. Mine again were 7.45 to 4.15, but if I'm in a shot room, you know, Monday through Thursdays, I take my last patient at 4.30. On Fridays, you know, I take my last patient at four o'clock. So if I'm on the floor, you know, with the other um, staff, I'm working 7.45 to 4.15. So the hours were the bomb.com. You know, I love that. And then of course, you know, it's Monday through Fridays, no holidays, no weekends. That's the beauty in working, you know, in an outpatient clinic. A majority of all outpatient clinics close around 5, 5.30ish, somewhere around there. It all depends on what, what time they take that very last patient and what time that very last patient exits the building. Um, of course, um, let's see. Oh, one huge pro that I really, really love, and especially with the clinic that I'm in right now, 
Like say for instance, for holidays, certain holidays, I think there's like what, six major holidays. Of course we are closed. So when I was with agency, if the clinic is closed for any particular reason, whether it's for a holiday, whether it's for, you know, inclement weather and we lose power because that did happen recently, or it's a whole week. I think the whole week of Christmas, my clinic is closed. So with an agency, we still get paid. Now, the downfall of that is if I'm staff, like I am now, if the clinic is closed and if I haven't accumulated any vacation time, then I won't go, I won't get paid for that particular week. And also with holidays, I should have put this on the cons too, but you, you guys kind of get the drift. With holidays, if you are just starting a position, you know, of course you have to work, what is it, 90 days? So really, my first paid holiday is going to fall under, so I won't get paid for Thanksgiving, I won't get paid for Christmas. Um, wow, I won't get paid for... Yes, I will. I will get paid for Martin Luther King Day. I think that's around, what, January 15-ish, somewhere around there. So, because that'll be after my 90 days. So, November, December, January. Yeah, so January 1st, New Year's, ironically, that'll be my 90 days. So, that's good. So, my first actual paid holiday will be on January the 15th, which is Martin Luther King Day. And also, that is a reserved holiday, too. So, the clinic will be closed that day, so that's good. So I know I will get paid for that day. So there's a lot of, you got to weigh out your pros and your cons when you're switching from agency and when you're going back to staff or vice versa. You know, you're always, you got to find a happy medium. And right now, you know, the, the, the plan is to go back to school, you know, get into the transition program and still be able to work because... I have bills, you know, not only does my husband have bills, but we both have to upkeep the house. Of course, he's going to take the bigger portion. Thank you, honey. <laughs> and this will be his third go around, which will be the final go around of holding down the fort while I'm in school. But I still will be working. I just won't be working, you know, like 40 hours a week. But um, hopefully I can work enough money like I did when I was in LPN school to help keep, you know, everything afloat so um oh and another thing about school i did find out that i did not get accepted to the school that i went for my lpn so it's a bummer it's okay that's why i said you never put your eggs into one basket i have applied to another college that's close to me probably about the same distance if not shorter but um i have applied to that school and so far, so good. Today was the very first day that I actually applied to the transition program. And I've already submitted my transcripts. I have my recommended immunizations that I need. I got my TB placed and read. So I am ready for my acceptance letter. I, I feel real good about this other school because the points that they are asking for, I'm over the limit. And plus, my T's score was over their limit, too. So, guys, be praying for me that I will hear some great things. The deadline to apply for the transition program started today. So, it's November the 1st through February 1st. So, I'm thinking somewhere in end of January, you know, to mid-February. Um, no, end of December, to mid-January, I should hear something about my acceptance. So guys, like I said, this video was short and sweet. It's only, what, nine minutes. I just wanted to come in here, check in with you guys, let me let you guys know how everything is moving along, and to just give you my news that I have transitioned back to being a staff nurse. And guys, I am, I think last time I checked, I am at 499 subscribers. I said I was going to do a giveaway once I reach 500. So guys, please, if you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, like it, comment if you will. If you want me to put up any other comment, I mean, any other content, I will be more than happy to get that out to you. But guys, there are some great things ahead of you. 
I want to do a giveaway at 500. So hopefully, hey, as soon as I upload this video, I will have my 500 subscribers. I don't know what gifts will be in the goodie bag, but it's going to be some great gifts. Um, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. And I'm so excited to have almost 500 subscribers. So guys, hopefully in the next video, I will be celebrating that. And I will do some kind of drawing as to, you know, how this giveaway is going to go. So guys, until the next video, be blessed and be safe.